Hi there, this is Charlotte for GamerCast.net. I am here with a video that I promised very recently, my pickups video. Um, this is something that I am very, very, very excited to do. Um, if you have seen my latest pickups video, I've watched it was all the way at the end after like 30 grueling minutes. Um, I recently picked up a Famicom disc system, as you may see here. Uh, with the disc system came a nice pile of games. Now, what I'm very excited in knowing is if all of these games are what they say they are, because um, apart from a couple of them, well, really, none of them are actual, like, proper boxed um, Famicom Disk System games. I have one, um, a copy of Galaxy Odyssey. It's, like, um, crawling around here somewhere. Um, and, yeah, uh, technically, some of these, they, they might not even work anyway. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I would sh share with you the magical experience of um, discovery. I suppose that would be best to describe it. I'm going to be playing these on my very nice TV that I picked up recently. Unfortunately, I have a lovely Bang & Olufsen TV down there um, to play um, all of my retro games on. However, um, it's too new to pick up a Famicom's um, video uh, frequency. Um, it's very difficult to get a Famicom to pick up on PAL TVs. However, I have two TVs back at my parents that can do it. And this lovely, absolutely stunning TV also does it as well. Um, this is actually a Sony Trinitron, and it's from 1984. It's got these gorgeous buttons that you just um, press and light up. I picked this up for a fiver from the British Heart Foundation. In fact, we even had, me and Tim were having to take turns at carrying it. We had someone ridiculing um, our TV and, and, and how cool it was. Um, but if you ask me, this TV is lovely. Um, so I just found power on the Famicom, so you can... Um, because it's one of the first get, uh, systems that actually had its own kind of boot screen like you would have these days. As you can see, the TV is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that colour. Um, okay, so I guess I will take it from the top. So this, I can't remember what this is. This is something like something buster. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll give it a go. The label actually says ice hockey. I'm not sure if that says that on both sides. The thing with the disc system games is that they can have two games on them. Yeah, okay, so this says that it's got uh, wrestling on one side, or pro wrestling. And it says it has ice hockey on the other side. So I guess I will try the pro wrestling side because it's the A side. So let's pop it in and have a look. Let's take that off as well. It's very satisfying the click when this goes in. It's, worth, it's also really satisfying when you push it back through. Okay, let's see if we have a game. These take relatively um, short amount of time to load, actually, um, which I was very surprised with when I first started playing it. Okay, so this is indeed pro wrestling. Um, so Famicom Wrestling Association. Let's give it a quick go. Look at the colours on these colours, amazing. It does like do quite a few load um, processes um, every now and again. However, obviously, this is like a pro wrestling game is not going to save. So let's give a one play game. Now I'm terrible at wrestling games, so oh god, oh no. Yeah, that's pin him already. <laughs> what a pity. Game over. The only thing I don't know about these, and if someone has a disc system and they can tell me, is, so now that I'm like this, do I have to reset the get in my, my Famicom in order to switch over the side? Or can I just load the side and it doesn't matter? Obviously it's not accessing the disc right now, because it's not in red. But yeah, I have that as a query. Please tell me if you have one. So let's flip it. See if we've got some ice hockey. I'm also not very good at ice hockey too, so let's see. If these are all exactly what they say they are, I'm going to be really disappointed. It is ice hockey. Let's be Japan versus Poland. Um.
I have no idea. Let's just let's just play. The thing, of course, with disk system games is that because you were having them written onto um. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> you have them written onto a um. A disk, so it was very unlikely that you'd ever have the um, instruction manual. Um. Oh, no, it's going to be icing. Oh, it's not icing. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Um, yeah, so it's very unlikely that you ever have the manual. Um, so what you could actually do was... Ah, oh, there's icing. Icing. Wow, this is all in English as well. Um, so you'd often have it so um, you wouldn't get a manual. However, if you sent away with um, a certain amount of money, you could get the manual printed for any game that you bought. As well as a label, I think, as well, which is very nice. So just because you were a bit more money conscious didn't mean that you couldn't enjoy a game like your friends on the Famicom I'm just... oh no they scored! okay that's basically like game over right? is there a timer here? oh there's a timer yes yeah. alright Let's do that. Oh man, now it's like loaded forever. Okay, so that wasn't this Buster game. It was, in fact, pro wrestling and ice hockey, just like the label said. I would be not be very surprised if this isn't what it says as well. Um, so how do I do this? So this is uh, the monitor puzzle kinetic connection from IREM. Let's see if um, it's both A and B sides. So I would be surprised if it's not what it says it is. Let's put the A side in. Come on, different game. Mr. Gold, Kinsan in the space. and give in. Uh oh. Hopefully it's okay with that. Yes, I have no idea if that was in fact what it said it was. Maybe you have played the monitor puzzle connect kinetic con connection. But that doesn't really look like someone singing on a piano. Um, okay, well let's try this. I'm not sure what it is. Squaresoft game. A and B. So potentially one game hasn't been what it says it is. But I would be surprised if they had an A and B side game on there. Well, there's no swords on here. Nope. That is a very different game. Hummingbird Soft. I mean, it could well be the same game, but that didn't look like it. Oh no.
Okay, it's a dungeon crawler. Wow. Hi. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's killing me. Um I'm dead. Killed by a dragonfly. Okay, well that was an interesting game. Um I'm pretty sure it's not this game. But then again, no, it doesn't look like the same game, does it? I will have to look up Hummingbird Soft. Might be the same game. I may be being ignorant. Okay, so golf, although it's not golf, because it has Kid Icarus and more Kid Icarus. So, let's give this one a whirl, eh? Be cool if I have a copy of Kid Icarus. However, who knows? It might not load. Uh oh! That's not good. Error 24. Let's try the B side. Error 7, it is the B-side. Okay, so we have a dud. That's unfortunate. Let's put that in there. Okay, let's try this one. I can't remember what this one was. Some Konami game. Give it a go. Apologies for the noise of people outside. Okay, well this must be loading, right? Oh, and we do indeed have it. Some sort of football game, maybe? Let's go for exciting. That sounds exciting. Who knows, it might even be a golf game, actually. It's a tennis game! Let's have some exciting tennis. I'm not very good at tennis either, mind you. I'm not very good at many games. It doesn't look good at all. Perhaps in the potential dead. Let's pop that here. Fact. Put those there. Pop those here. Pop those here. Don't want any interference from the TV, I guess. Okay, so um, let's give this one I go, which I believe is a volleyball game. That's it, a fan dot. Volleyball!
that was volleyball. Not very good at volleyball. Have a see if this is indeed Mario Brothers. The thing that was cool about the Famicom disc system was that um, you could even get games that were just on the Famicom. Hey look at that, it's Super Mario Bros 2! No, oh, how embarrassing. Interesting though, I've never played the actual Japanese version of Mario Brothers 2. I'm of course used to the um, Mario Bros. 2 USA. No, I don't know what these are at all. So this is in the case that says Green Beret. However, it says um, some other stuff on it. Well, this one's actually been um, taped up. Give side A go. set side B. Well that was quick wasn't it? Perhaps this has had something else written into it. Perhaps this is the green beret that the person drew on the box. Green beret! I'm not very good at green beret. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh oh. Well, it's never going to go well at that many karate kickers. Well, that was interesting. So, that's the first one that I've found that is definitely like they've intentionally wiped whatever the game was on it previously. And even um, put some tape on it to make sure that it didn't get recorded over. does stick in the console a little because of it. Let's put that in there. Oh wait no, is that on my part that one? Oh that's on my part that one. Okay, so now we have another game. I don't know what this one is. Wait, but I must know what it is. Come on, in this.
Konami's Hustler Club. Two sides. Okay, let's try this one. I'm hoping that this is actually what it says it is because it's got a label on it for Twinby. So that'll be a good game. Oh no, what's happened to my signal? Must be some distortion. Where are you? Oh no. Anyway. Fingers crossed for Twinby. Not that I'm very good at Twinby. But you don't have to be good at games to enjoy them. That's the way I see it. It's Twinby! Well, that's amazing. That was stupid. Game over. Well, that's really cool because um, to have a game like Twinbee on the disc system is really cool. Even if I do suck. So what will be interesting to know now is whether or not there is something on the B side. There is no label. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just empty. But then what, this, what a waste of a side, you know? To not put anything at all on it. For 500 yen you could put anything on there that you wanted. There's nothing on there. It's a shame. Okay. What do we have now? Now we have um, SD Gundam. Now I'm not a big fan of Gundam. I have no idea what this game is though. It could be a platformer. If it's a platformer then I'll enjoy it. And we do actually have an A and a B side, and it looks like it's almost like there's two different games, but it might just be the labels looking different when they're not deceptively different. Do we have an SD Gundam? Please wait! But I want to play it now! Well, if it's an RPG, maybe not. Scramble Wars! This came out in the Famicom. Oh well. So that was indeed also SD Gundam as it said it was, uh, Scramble Wars. The last game, unfortunately I already know what it is. This is the very lovingly um, crafted Castlevania 2. Again, this is on disc, however this is on a blank disc, a completely blank disc, so I was like, oh my lord. This could be absolutely anything, or this could just be blank. And if you put it in, it's actually this um, brilliant person's rendition of uh, Castlevania II. I mean, that's not too bad. Out of all of those, you have a nice tidy stack of games. One of one or two, not quite sure on. And then. Tennis, which didn't appear to load the B-side, and unfortunately Kid Icarus, which I was kind of looking, you know, a bit forward to, um, but can't win them all, so that's not too bad. The, the, the console itself, um, I traded in a copy of Final Fantasy VII, um, a copy of Zombies, Ate My Neighbours, Just the Cart, 
um, a copy of Paper Mario um, on the GameCube and maybe something else actually was that it that might have been it all of that and then that was for £45 trade which meant that I got the console for 65 and that was with I think five games or so and I went back and he'd found some more discs and he let me have those for a tenner so that wasn't too bad to only have two bad ones out of the whole lot unfortunately the disc writers themselves are now um, they just don't exist Nintendo took them all back and they probably sat in the basement of their office chilling out um, I think there are people, well, I think people have tried to emulate the writers so you can like actually put things on these if they are dead. However, as far as I'm concerned, I think they're pretty much duds. That's the thing, so if you ever do see disc system games, you do have to be careful because they could, whoops, they could just be no good anyway. Um, from what I hear, a lot of people do find that they are fine, but you never know. Um, yeah, so this is Castlevania 2. I'm terrible at Castlevania, because they're very hard. You can tell which one is mine. Switching! So yeah, that was my um, that was my video. I'm hoping that you found it interesting. I probably sped up a few parts just to make them a little less boring. Perhaps like me um, losing at wrestling, and at volleyball, and at what else did I lose at? Ice hockey. You can watch me lose at cost. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the saves in the town. Um, yeah, so that was my venture into purchasing a disc system. I'm hoping that I'll get some more games at some point. As always, it's just like an absolute mystery as to what you get. Unfortunately, the disc system games themselves are quite expensive in Japan. Um, so I'm hoping that I can maybe pick up a few that are junk on the basis that they may or may not work. Who knows? Um, half of the fun is in the risk. So yeah. Um Perhaps you are an owner of a disc system and you have some advice. You could tell me what is the best way to... Um, to turn it off or like to switch the discs around stuff like that um, any questions feel free to ask me um, I do really love the Famicom um, as much as it's silly to own a system like it because you know the games are all in Japanese um, there are certainly a lot of games especially like the Jajimaru games um, that I found on the Famicom um, that just never got released over here and are actually really 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 good games so yeah um, hope that you enjoyed my video and I'll catch you guys again sometime soon. See ya!